So processing vocals is a tricky beast. Oftentimes they're the most important part of a song, they're the focal point of the song, and even if you have a great instrumental mix, if your vocal processing is subpar, the mix can be ruined. One way of processing vocals is compression. Thankfully at this point in time we have tons of different plugins, tons of different options, most of which are modeled after old analog gear. There's one method in particular though that's stood the test of time, and that's the 1176 to LA-2A compression chain, um, which basically means that you're using two compressors on a vocal, starting with the 1176 and ending with the LA-2A. Uh, this helps to control transients while giving the vocals a rich, smooth feel that the, the LA-2A gives. So I'll pull up some vocals for you here. We'll go through how to implement this compression chain, and hopefully that'll give you some clarity moving forward. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've got a song pulled up here. Uh, the reason I picked this one is because I'm actually still working on this. So, still working on the beat and the vocals themselves, but I actually used this, uh, this method here. So, I'll kind of demonstrate the, the steps involved. And really, there are only two steps involved in, in this method, right? That's just having the two compressors. Uh, but most of the time, of course, you're not just going to throw two compressors on a vocal. So, uh, it includes other things. I'll briefly kind of go into how I've processed these. I will uh, go ahead and play it for you real quick, and then we'll we'll come back to this. I'm in that old school, cutting up the highway, and I be just fine, cause I'm doing things my way. O on a turnpike, coming down the interstate. My swag is airborne, I do it in a flyway. Turn me on, I hit you up just like a fireplace. I ain't hard to find, I'll be somewhere in them tri-states. Okay, so as you can hear, it's still, uh, still pretty raw as far as the overall mix is concerned. However, I've... Uh, Taking the initial steps on his vocals to kind of you know have them be ever present and, and standing out. So um, first thing I did here, and these are these two steps are not required necessarily. Uh, some people do things differently than than me, but I always like to start with an EQ subtractive. So I'd use a high pass filter, you know, to get the low frequencies off, and then I find points that sound harsh and um, isolate those and then kind of do sweeping EQs where I'm subtracting. My, my goal is to make the vocal as flat as possible before we add any EQ. So second thing I'll do is add a de-esser. Uh, sibilance is really good from Waves, uh, but you can use any de-esser, you know, because you know, I don't want to compress the vocals with those harsh, harsh S sounds. So those are the first two steps for me. Now, the actual method itself always starts with an 1176 style compressor so i'm using the one from waves the cla 76 but you know there's tons of different ones out there so you don't have to use the the waves necessarily and the goal of this compressor in the chain is to because it has such a fast attack it's the goal is to catch any transients that are you know going to stand out or going to be problematic so really what we're shooting for here we want to turn the release all the way up uh you want the, the quickest release possible so in a 76 compressor it's over to the right instead of the left but quickest release possible a slower attack which keep in mind with the 76 is still really fast and then we're going to dial this in until we're getting really only one to two db of compression is, is optimal because what you don't want to do here is over compress with the 76 model right so if you do that it squishes the vocal to the point where the 2a afterward is kind of irrelevant if you're looking to squish a vocal with the 76 model which is you know has has its place of course but it, it, not in this method so all we're going to do is catch one to two db of of, of compression uh, any any transients that are standing out we'll we'll catch those and then i'll uh i'll kind of play what that sounds like for you this is with just the eq and the de -esser. I'm in that old school, cutting up the highway, and I be just fine, cause I'm doing things my way. O on a turnpike, coming down an interstate. interstate. My swag is airborne, I do it in a flyway. Turn me on, I hit you up just like a fireplace. I ain't hard to find, I be somewhere in them tri-states. Going hard, bitch, I don't mean no disrespect. They hear my hunger rap like I ain't had no dinner yet. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's not much. You're not flavoring the vocal with the 76 necessarily it's just there to catch those and next for me i always like after the compressor to add uh, additive eq just to give it some more presence that's not the last time i'll use an eq on this probably the next step in the process is to add an la2a style compressor similarly there are a ton of these i use the one from waves you know you can use whichever one you want 
And this is the one if you're going to um, compress heavily or drive with compression, uh, this is the one to use. Because the 2A has a certain color, certain warmth to it that not only controls the vocal, but makes it sound kind of like silky smooth. So once you use the 76 to compress those transients, then the 2A is going to be used to compress the vocal as a whole because it has a much slower attack. So I'll play it dry or with, with just these plugins and then I'll, uh, I'll add that 2A so you can hear. I'm in that old school, cutting up the highway, and I be just fine, cause I'm doing things my way. O on a turnpike, coming down an interstate. interstate. My swag is airborne, I do it in a flyway. Turn me on, I hit you up just like a fireplace. I ain't hard to find, I be I'll somewhere in the tri states. Going hard, bitch, I don't mean no disrespect. They hear my hunger rap like I ain't had no dinner yet. Dinner, yeah. I'm a rare sight. You should take a picture of it. Picture I'm not a latest man now, nah, but the bitches love it. She She's wanna loving. hang out with a star that kid me gloving. Kid she me think gloving. by fucking with me somehow she might get discovered. Get dis I right, so as you can hear there, um, has a much richer quality to it. Of course, it's louder uh, because I'm pushing, you know, a little bit of gain as well. So with this one, I usually shoot for between two and six db of reduction so let's see what i have it at here i'm in that old school cutting up the highway and i'll be just fine because i'm doing things my way on but if you want to push it you can coming down an interstate. interstate my swag is airborne i do it in a fly way turn me on i hit you up just like a fireplace i ain't hard to find i'll be somewhere in them tri states going hard bitch i don't mean no disrespect they hear my hunger rap like I ain't had no dinner yet. Dinner yet. I'm a rare sight. You yeah, so if you want to, you know, compress it heavily with that 2A, it's totally fine. Um, it's just, you know, all going to be personal preference. But that is it. As far as the, you know, 76 2A method, it's very simple. Um, not too much to worry about there. You know, obviously we didn't go into processing the vocals as a whole here, but um, that's how you do that. It's how you control it. And tons and tons of people use that all the time as their kind of go-to compressor chain so uh, but it's used for a reason sounds great and yeah that's how, you, that's how you do it so that's actually all we have for today uh hopefully that was able to help you guys out um if you like what you saw feel free to check out some of my other videos uh like and subscribe to the channel if you think you'll get some value from it and yeah i appreciate you guys stopping by thanks have a good one hey man hey man turn this shit up